So I thought it'd be fun to run Cinebench on this R820 with 48 cores. And it's uh, kind of wild looking at Task Manager and showing all the logical processors. I'm not used to seeing that many. I think uh, the most I have is 40 on a machine which is running dual 10 core Xeons that are hyper threaded. But I've already run the Cinebench test, but I thought it'd be fun to run again. Show how noisy the server gets. Oops. I think it's starting. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I stopped it. <laughs> He's being impatient. It's surprising how quiet it is. And the power usage hasn't been that bad. So I'm just pulling up iDRAC right now. Gotta wait for iDRAC to um, refresh. But uh, basically, it's been peaking out around 500 watts. I'm drawing a little bit more power right now than normal because I also have a GPU. But it's just kind of cooking on through. As you can see. <laughs> it's crazy seeing that many threads getting pegged. But um, let's see if iDRAC is updated yet. Um... Yeah, iDrex is still a little behind. It's uh, working its way up. So, there's the usage in the last hour. I've been running some folding at home as well, just as a way to stress test it. But, yeah. All the cores. It's faster than a Threadripper 1950X by a significant margin. And I don't know what it... W3265M is. That doesn't sound very exciting. W. What is it? W3265M. Uh, 24 core. Fans are ramping a little. So it's faster than a modern ish 24 core Xeon, but that, holy cow. That uh, 3265M is a 24 core CPU with a 2.7 gigahertz base clock and 4.4 um, gigahertz turbo. So, assuming you're getting max turbo in all cores, I can see why that uh, would keep up with this server. Um, let's go back to iDRAC. Thermals aren't too terrible. The CPUs are, uh, I think heat soaked is the term. So they're holding fairly steady. Around 160 Fahrenheit. Inlet tip is 24C, which is what the front display I guess shows. So it's been a while since I looked at that. 33C inside, which is 91 Fahrenheit. So it definitely gets warm. I don't know particularly too warm. I'm trying to see some kernel temps. I don't think iDRAC tracks CPU temps in a way that I can uh, see historical on. But, uh, yeah, we're hitting a peak of around 600 watts under this workload. Fans are ramping a little. Check in on CPU temps. CPU run one cooled down a little, but yeah, it's still around 160. I have a few other things I want to try, but I thought it'd be fun to see what Cinebench was like. And I believe you probably saw the score at the beginning of the video. So I'll probably end the video before this is done, because I don't know how much longer this is going to take. 
but um, it's like 26,000 something. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it's significantly lower than the uh, Threadripper 2990WX, which is a 32 core, 3 gigahertz CPU. Seems like having lots of cores is good for Cinebench, but um, clock speed also seems to really matter, so. Yeah. Just thought I'd run it, because I know it's what some people like to run when it comes to CPUs, but. Um, Hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.